I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one to one diet consultants, and this week we're going to talk to you about products. Meal replacement products. What do they look like? How do you make them? What's the range? The whole shebang. Yeah. And so, what meal replacements are in the first yeah. place. Heidi just pointed out that, you know, you can do this for such a long time that you forget that people yeah. are new and that they don't always know. And that even if you've done it before, the range has changed so much. And what are they really? And what do they look like? And what's their, you know, what do they feel like? How do you, how do you use them? In what way are they unique? So I went out to my cabin this morning and I grabbed all sorts of goodies um, and we're going to talk you through them. Yes. Exactly that. So we'll start at the beginning. It's always the beginning in my head, but sure it is the beginning with shakes. Because I think at the top of my order form, that's why I always work down that, that way. Is that the shake diet? Well, yes, it is. It yes. is shakes. Um, and we have classic shakes. I only brought one shake because, well, I brought two because, you know, they, they are what they are. Oh, I brought a smoothie. Look, we brought different ones. Yeah, no, I, I also brought a smoothie, but they are slightly different. They're yeah. slightly different makeup, aren't they, the smoothies? So yeah. we'll, we'll start with what meal replacements are. Meal replacements are an instead of. They are a third or a quarter, so 33.333 recurring or 25% of your RDA, of everything. They're not an as well as. They're not a protein shake. Um. The only way you would use the one-to-one -one diet as a protein range, as a supplementary range, is when you're in maintenance yeah. or when you're on one of our with food steps in the, at the higher end of our steps chart. Um, if you are doing sole source, where you are getting your sole source of nutrition from these, these have been around longest. They taste better. They're brilliant. They are magical. But they are a thing to get your brain around because these are an instead of. You're not adding milk. You're not no, adding it's already there. Else. You are adding water and this has everything. Let me just, the, the fine print. This has everything you need. So the things that you are not counting in your, in your calorie deficit diet, the trace selenium, the vitamin K, the riboflavin, the, 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 all the trace elements of your minerals are in here. And it tastes like a strawberry shake. And that is quite astounding. But it also tastes, like you just said, like a breakfast smoothie. Yeah. But it also tastes like a mixed berry porridge or a golden syrup porridge or a spaghetti bolognese with real pasta in it. The makeup of these are so wildly different, but they could, like I did back in the day, they could be all chocolate shake. They only taste like this because food is such an experiential thing. We smell it, we fantasize about it, we plan for it, we watch TV where we know we're never gonna eat that food, but we watch TV, we listen to programs about it, podcasts about recipes. Food is a huge part of our life. So with meal replacement, we can disassociate from a lot of the responsibility and the mental load of losing weight and dieting, but not to the extent where we're not allowed to have some flavor. Nice things. Yes. Nice things. And I think, says, you know, watching. lots of people have a misconception that meal replacement is not going to taste very nice. I definitely did before I started this plan. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you, it's blinking lovely because if our products did not taste delicious, I would not have lost the weight and I would not be no, doing I this think, job. <laughs> I think that's a big part of it, isn't it? I think that people worry that this is going to be punitive. Um, yeah. And the reason that it's, it's a third or a quarter is dependent on your medical conditions and your eligibility to follow plan, where your BMI is, how much weight you have to lose, your gender, your, your sex. So whether you're, if you're a man, then you will automatically, if you want to do sole source, be eating four products a day. Yeah. And that is your everything. If you're a woman or you're under five foot, five foot eight, um, depending on medical conditions, small print, asterisks, all of that jazz, that's why you need a consultant to supervise this process. You'll be using three of them in any combination. That's a really common one in any combination. Now, I lost nearly seven stone years and years ago doing three chocolate shakes. And you can see here, this one says lactose free. We have a lactose free range as well. But this is a milk based diet. So this is made with um, skimmed milk powder. And that's the only reason that I pointed out earlier that it's different from the smoothie is that these are made with skimmed yogurt powder. So they are heftier. That's the best sort of way yeah. of describing the mouthfeel. Um, they have more about them. And, you know, people, we have a very few shakes in our range these days, but people after 40 years of product development will still say, is that that shake diet? Yeah. Well, it can be. 
If you want to disassociate that much, you want to do a liquid only option, you really prefer the flavor of them. You, like Heidi, know how to make them like McDonald's milkshakes with just the right amount of crushed ice. I see you, Heidi. <laughs> yeah, I'm that person that the shake has to be ice cold and just full, chock full of ice. It makes it nice and thick and exactly how I want it to be. And, and that's that a really good point. You can personalize this. You yes. can treat it to that extent like food, can't you? Yeah. So you can make it slightly different. According and you can make them hot. So we can, on the back are all the instructions on how to make them, aren't they, Nell? And it tells you exactly how much water to put in. And you can, the best way is to use a blender, but it will work with the shaker cup. You just got to shake it for a bit longer. Yeah, but a <laughs> yeah a blender or a stick blender that's the, the national reason one for stick blender <laughs> you might find it a bit like any kind of other protein shake that you've ever used it and that protein powder is because it's it's tough stuff and you've got to break it down and that's why we would always recommend an electric blender if you haven't got an electric blender for your shakes then take a ready-made one yes. these bad boys this this because it is all of your nutrition has to be drunk within 15 minutes of being made up. And nothing terrible will happen to you. But if you are using them for your instead of nutrition and they're not a supplement, they're not a, oh, well, that's nice to have as well. Then do follow that guideline to within, you know, sometimes the phone rings and fair enough. But if you come back to it after half an hour, you will see that it started to bubble and it starts to break down a little bit. And that's because once the water is in there, those in, those minerals, they need to be in you. They need to be activated yeah. and in you to be doing their job and to keep you on track and to keep you standing upright, not sitting in the glass ignored on the kitchen counter. Um, if you need more flexibility than that, then then when the Heidi said it tells you the exact amount of water to use, it'll make it up to this size, but more you can make them much, much bigger if you want to. Um, and yeah. we've got all the classics like we had all the way back in the day. We've got the strawberry, we've got the banana, chocolate, vanilla, shot of coffee. We've got cappuccino, which, it, you know, we've got we've got all of those different things. And they tend to be quite seasonal, don't they? People like their, yeah. their smoothies. And you and can make them summer. hot and cold, which is something uh, swimmers often ask me. You can make them hot or cold. So if you... Just be careful with the electric blender. Yeah, Sorry. I never put the hot water in my blender. So the way I make them, if I want to make a shake hot is I use a small amount of room temperature water, mix it up in my blender, put it in my cup, and then add just off the boil water right, to that's that. that's what I do with my coffee. Yeah. So when I make the one-to-one -one latte, then I put, yes, with yeah. a la Gemma Rennick, then you put the, the, the hot coffee in the shake. And if you are Gemma Rennick, you have it in a Sports Direct mug because, you know, more is more, right? Definitely. Bigger is, bigger is better. Oh, 100%. If you want to add more water and make the shake bigger and you're happy to thin it out a little bit, you can totally do that. And just to say with the ready-mades, you're never, ever, ever going to heat them up because you will destroy the nutrition. If you want them hot, you are going to just add hot water in a cup to them. That's how you're going to make those hot. And that is why we're so strict, because our job is to maintain every shred of those tiny vitamins and minerals in there for your benefit. So, yes, we can treat them like food, but we just have to know their limitations a little bit. Um, and this, again, more is more. <laughs> yeah. because. It's uh, it's it's a smoothie and it's made with yogurt powder and therefore it has got uh, altogether thicker flavor um, not flavor texture. Um, these do not follow the fifteen minute rule. If you're looking for ease and convenience and you're like I'm I'm with you so far, girls. I like the sound of this. You can do a lot of the thinking. We can do even more of the thinking for you because these can be unscrewed and rescrewed up for twenty four hours. So you can take a sip chuck it in the back yep. of the fridge, put it in your bag, whatever you need to do. Because sometimes for all of our best laid plans, we're lucky if we can grab a sip and go. So they are called shake and go for that very reason. And we love yes. those ones. They're very popular. Um, yeah. And the just a, a side note for the latte shake and go. One way that people enjoy using it is if you are a coffee drinker, but now you can't have coffee with milk in it because you're on the lowest step. Some people yeah. use the latte as their milk throughout the day. Obviously, you've got to take into consideration that is a meal replacement that you are utilising for that rather than sitting down and eating it as you would a meal. But if you're having four a day, quite often people use that fourth one as that. Yeah. And also quite a lot of people do like what I liked on plan back in the day, which is that disassociation. Yeah. So I can drink my nutrition and kind of just 
put myself in that bubble where yeah. no to food. What a relief. What a relief. I haven't brought the whole range, I should say. No. Um, you can look at either of them. Because we have nearly 40 products and we would just see that. It would be like huge <laughs> and it would be a very long video. But the latte that Heidi's referring to is this size. Yeah. And people think it tastes like the, the Starbucks one. The, the Starbucks one. Bottles. People love it. The little thin neck glass bottles that you get that are very expensive. Apparently it tastes just like that. It's quite sweet. Um, but it's you can knock that back if you don't love that flavor, but you get that kind of almost caramel latte vibe um, yeah. by putting a shot of black coffee in it. Yeah, I was so going to say, it's put a shot balance, of coffee in it. it of, we're going to treat it like food, but also we can use it straight out of the pack and straight up, just not overthink yeah. any of this. You do not need to know all of the tips and tricks and hacks and product hacks and the combinations and the, you know, what straight up front straight up front you you need to just try them first yeah. um a lot of us do offer sample boxes if you get in touch with us we can put together a pack for you so that you could try a day on plan we would need you to go through the screening process and the medical protocol to be able to do any more than a day on plan but you will learn a lot meal replacements if you've never done them before are a steep learning curve so you know it's, it's best to have somebody who's got your back who is as knowledgeable and nerdy <laughs> about you get as excited time. that you could use a latte for your milk. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, the amount of times that I will speak to somebody and one of you know a simple suggestion, um, you know, of mixing up your shakes or something will blow somebody's mind because I think people haven't quite got their brain around the it's food but it's meal replacement it's an instead of and not and there's a there's a fine line. Just know that you need to find your version of this. Yeah. You know, somebody else might do it on three savory products a day, and that is not how you roll. But that's fine. What's important to us as your one to one dedicated supporter is that you find the way of th that's going to work for you. Um, and if that means staying away from liquid shakes because you don't like those sorts of things in real life, try one by all means. Yes. But we have other things for you. We have porridge. That was my next. It's next on my list. On my we chose different list. ones. Well done. We did. Or and there's an bring original. A yeah, there's an original as well, yeah. which I really like with um rock salt. You know, like the Scots do. Like oh, Scots do. yeah. I've never it done really, it that way. Really draws down. I the really like the original one as well. Again, I like it's a much thicker texture. It's all on the back. It's the same nutrition as any of the shakes. You can kind of see. I mean, it's difficult because I know this is very visual, but I want to show you the size and the the sort of you know. It gives you a really good solid bowl full of porridge. You will not feel like yeah. you're missing out, or it's a Imagine tiny portion. Imagine that was in one of those cups from the supermarket. That's a really yeah. easy swap. I'm going to use this instead. Lots of my maintainers will come back and buy boxes of these at the time. Yes, and have this as a third of their daily nutrition with their healthy eating plan and help that use that to help keep their weight off um it's quite fine it's not lumpy porridge oats it's not ready break either you can add more water but the the texture of that sits somewhere between the two it's got a bit of it can have a bit of bite back to it hands down the flavor of these just keeps people coming back they are yes. probably some of the strongest well-developed products in our range, range let alone out there i don't know about other meal replacements what i know about ours is that they're brilliant and that they are an instead of these are not your bog standard protein range no and just to say because we're starting to go into the range that is microwavable so yes. this one goes in the microwave if you don't have a microwave or you're out and about or it suits you better all of the products that say the microwavable will also work in a thermos cup flask one of those thermos lunch things you're gonna yeah, as long mix as it, it with the water and leave it, it for about 10 down. minutes yeah you yeah, leave it for about 10 minutes it was... or the cheapy um you know the often you like the raffle i think of them as like raffle cups they so they've yeah. got that double cell insulating yeah. thing to them yeah they're quite inexpensive by them in most supermarkets for sort of seven pounds but they work quite well especially if you're somebody that's out and about or you don't have facilities at work and you need to make something up. And it equally, like Heidi just said, I didn't have a microwave for years. All the time I was on plan years and years ago, it was having kids that forced me to have a, mi a microwave pop and ping in the end. But you can do it on the hob. I just yes. do it on, on the hob. A lot of us are using the microwave nowadays actually because it, it's slightly cheaper to use the electricity to do that than it is to fire up the gas burner or the halogen, yeah. you know, all of the rest of it. The only thing I've never tried is the air fryer. I can't I can't tell you how it would work in an air fryer, but you can. You I can think just, I'm not sure porridge would work in an air fryer. No, you can just cook it 
like porridge. I think yeah. that's the thing. So, you know, it, it, some of it is, oh no, we need to keep the nutrition and you shouldn't microwave that one. Some of it is, oh, just treat it like food. Yeah. If in doubt, always ask. Ask under yeah. this video and we will help clarify for you. You will go out there and see people doing weird and wonderful things like putting um, porridge in a thick paste on a baking sheet and in an air fryer to make cookies, oatmeal type cookies. You'll see people microwaving their bars to make a kind of fudgy type. If they are doing that, one, it's a, you know, it's food. Yes, I get it. But just be very careful. If you are watching those people, they may not be on soul source. They may be using this as part of their nutrition um, alongside real food. And if some of the nutrition breaks down and you microwave a product that shouldn't really have been microwaved, if they are making their product up at seven in the morning to use for lunchtime and, you know, oh, it's separated a bit, but they just kind of reshake it. It's not that big a deal. If you're on soul source, it is a big deal. It is a big deal for you. And that's why we have to be quite stickly about making sure that you understand that once those vitamins start breaking down it, it, it shouldn't really be used in a thermos yeah. for a, a soup in the afternoon if yeah no i'm talking about thing, putting it in the thermos leave it 10 minutes eat it straight away not or do what it in i do which is take a thermos of hot water yeah. to the play park or wherever i'm spending my afternoon and use the hot water and my soup and yes i was gonna say it brings us nicely onto soup yeah. because these are the perfect it's take a great. thermos to hot water and um add your soup powder it works like a cup of soup that's the easiest way to explain it it tells you the measurements on the back but essentially you can make it thinner if you add more water you can and eyeball it if you want to put the powder um, in water and stir yeah. you like yeah i think we can and, do this i think if what we want to do is make your life easy yeah and if you're on soul sauce we have a chicken noodle and the vegetables with croutons and you might be like why is she emphasizing that i'm gonna tell you <laughs> the joy in my life when i was on four products a day was having Sweet croutons in my veg soup of carbohydrates. i was like this is a winner baby <laughs> <laughs> I would also you say feel the same I'm way. a big fan of the soups on a cold day. So we have these oh, tubs. Yeah, we of both have the same thinking. <laughs> yeah, I would always, always make my soup up with stock rather than with water. I just would. It's it, once you've done it, you'd never go back. It's it's super savory. It's like um, it's crushed up stock cubes, but it's it's very very savory. It's got a really nice flavor. I prefer this one over using stock cubes. Um, and I also like using it as a drink. Plenty of people kind of you know it's a bit of a craving crusher, isn't yeah. it? Half past three in the afternoon. If you've had chocolate caramel bites and a chocolate shake, you might want to go the other end. Yeah. Um, and but I would always use it in all of my savory products. So in the soups and in the the savory savories it works very well as a as a flavoring and also when you step up to something like step two it works very well to add water to cook your chicken in add it to a stir fry for flavoring yeah. so you don't have to have to add other sauces and things yes, just have it have a tub of it in the mix yeah. um because you never know when it will come in handy and just enhance the flavors that are in there again with the soups yes you can um add more water it's like i just heard somebody ask that question you can make it like food some people will you know make it up as a very small cup of soup like a mug shot um and again you could use two of them you can literally yeah. pour half the powder into a mug have one in your break and then come fold the packet down you know and and have the other cup when you know when you're about to leave work or in a thermal cup on the way on the walk home you know you use it to your convenience we want to make this as easy as possible for you other people will have it in a you know a lavish soup bowl with their favorite spoon and you know you know make, <laughs> it, make it a whole lunch and add more water and stretch it a bit with, with i will everything. make it a giant bowl full and really enjoy it that's how i love to have it as, again i mean i could save this because this is true for the savory products as well but what's wrong with mixed herbs you know what's wrong yes with, you know a nip of fresh yeah herbs? because you know people you don't can, realize you, you can add all of that you can add sauce. spices mixed people herbs love chili you can flakes add that. All that kind of stuff. Especially make, to the savoury. Make it yours. Don't necessarily follow the packet instructions and let that gremlin in your brain go, well, it doesn't taste like spaghetti. But no, it, it's not going to taste like Nonna's chicken noodle soup. It is a meal replacement. And we are damn lucky that they taste as much like chicken noodle soup as they do. Although that chicken noodle soup, every single person is like, oh my God, it tastes 
as I expected it to taste. I'm a vegetarian. So it's never seen a chicken in its life. So uh, <laughs> um, our entire range is vegetarian. Yes. For the mixer mousse that is a beef based, a beef gelatin um, and some of the step up meals. But again, they're not meal replacements. So in terms of our meal replacements, yes, we are a milk based diet um, and we do struggle with being absolutely certified above board gluten free. But we don't struggle with vegetarian, you know, so that's that's really good because it's got that yes. smoky chicken vibe to it that yes. I quite like. So even so, this says chicken tikka curry. There's no chicken in it. No, it's never been near a chicken. It's, in it's soy. <laughs> yeah. So it's soy protein. Yeah. Brings us on to the savouries and like maracas. If you thought you couldn't have pasta, think again, mate, because there's pasta. There's this chicken tikka curry style. There is the green look there's just so much and it's all so good this is where it starts getting contentious if you follow these instructions it might work perfectly but it probably won't there is a knack there is a knack (laughs) for these um as you can hear the reason i'm rattling around space food is that they are they're dehydrated and they need to be rehydrated and that takes longer than you are giving them i think that's probably all it is you need to soak it for a really quite a long time in warm water and again there's the soy protein that you can see pictured on the front it's um it makes a decent portion you can treat it like food my best suggestion is soak it for a really long time and then basically just heat it up at the end that that cooking process at the end the cooking's really done by the water and then you heat it up just to bring it up to temperature but again chili flakes you know a, 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 the you know, italian mixed seasoning that's got the you know the oregano and the cilantro and the black pepper and everything treat it like food um and you will have a much better experience you don't have to tick the savory boxes if you don't want to um again a lot of it is, is texture isn't it People yeah like to mimic different I, I really enjoy the savory products my favorite when i was on plan was um spaghetti bolognese yeah. um i absolutely loved it really enjoyed it, it like Nell says it mixes it up but if you want to have your chicken tikka curry for breakfast no one's stopping you like right. you can have any of these at any time of day they're all nutritionally they're all very very similar to each other it's just about choosing a flavor that you enjoy that's going to work for you yeah how are you losing weight i'm using meal replacement oh right is that those shakes it can be it can be it can be four shakes a day if you're doing soul sauce it can be a bit of porridge it can be a chicken tikka it can be different one week from the next the the game we're playing is how to keep you on plan for right now and not worry about a week next wednesday yeah i keep you interested will take care of itself um, what we need to do is find your groove and it's it's a it's a really interesting game isn't it yeah. Using meal replacement because you don't have to like all of it it some of the products you will see if you go out on internet are very divisive you'll see some people absolutely loving it and living on three you know two or three of these a day and you'll see other people oh I hate it you know I think I think what's important is that we work with your tastes and we illustrate well where the line is between it's meal replacement suck it up disassociate don't worry about it just use these products and well it's food and if you're really struggling with it try something different or add more water or add some herbs and make it your own you know i don't begrudge anybody a handful of peppery watercress or rocket to give things a bit of you know a bit of crunch and a bit of texture you know it's it's not being so puritanical about it that you almost stitch yourself up um and that is something that i think without coaching and, and advice like what we're sharing today people do really struggle with because that part of your brain that goes well it's not really is it she's you know she or he they're always going to be there it's just kind of you know editing that out and making this possible for yourself yes and if you're on one of lower steps soul source and you think oh there's no point going to my consultant because she can't suggest anything it's just eat these and get on with it right you would be wrong there are so so many tweets to make yeah dieting weight loss is always punitive and this is this is what you deserve these you know this 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 horrible feeling of it no not not at all actually when you have complete nutrition you feel amazing oh that energy upswing on soul source is something else You just get really suspicious. And I completely understand that. And also all of your friends and family and many of your colleagues will also be deeply suspicious that you can feel that amazing, that good and be losing that much weight and have that kind of glow that you get from complete nutrition and really good hydration whilst eating salted caramel bites. Yeah, I was going to say, we should say about the bars and the bites. really make you doubt yourself. Like it can't be this easy. How does it it taste this good? This is too good. It's not painful enough. 
<laughs> yeah, the caramel bites, the choc chewy bars. We have an apple and cinnamon oat bar. If you like something that's a bit more like a cereal bar or a lemon bar with a yogurt coating is very yeah. similar to that breakfast cereal bar that lots of people are already having before they start planning. It's an and easy they're swap. a very common one, you know, like please don't go out and start using, you know, because it's it, the calorie deficit of a, of a breakfast bar is not the same no. as a third or a quarter of your daily nutrition with no. one of these bad boys. But that is just to really hammer home the point why these are an instead of. These are not your snack. They're not an as well as. You, the, the, we're not messing the key is in the word table. meal replacement <laughs> they were replacement i know but it's still <laughs> worth spelling out because i know you'd, you'd be amazed <laughs> wouldn't you exactly and we're just going to round up the video to very quickly say also alongside all of this we have these which you'll hear us bang on about all the time which are water flavorings and they're like a powdered squash which sounds not great when you say it like that because <laughs> You're like powdered squash. Are you kidding me? Like this, but they mix. Like yeah, they dissolve they and mix dissolve almost them. immediately. They do not leave a powdered residue. You cannot yeah, taste you that they start with powder. Cocktails, so oh. I've got the orange, but you've got the raspberry. Um, yes, you and mix together. They that, taste very nice. Mix them with that beef gelatin that I mentioned earlier, which is straight up powdered gelatin. Easier to use than leaf gelatin from the supermarkets. Thank you. Um, that will thicken your soups as well. It is a thickening agent. If yeah. you use lots and lots of it, then you can make jelly with all of this. So we've got an extra kind of extension for you. One of yeah. the other things you can do is mix it with a shake, especially one that's got a little bit of something, something extra in it. No, it'll thicken it right up as a shake, but you can also make that up into a kind of mousse. If you underuse it, it'll kind of go into a sloppy angel delight kind of vibe but i think textures for a lot of us because food is experiential and it's a very sensory process um that how it feels in your mouth um how it looks before you how appetizing if we disassociate too much then we leave our products in a plastic bag that you know a paper bag that they were given to us in yeah. by the front door and oh when i have to you know i'll go rummaging around and it's all screwed up and it's just, if that's the level of respect that you're giving your meal replacements, then I think that's going to reflect your attitude towards yourself and food and where you're at with your relationship with food right now. Like give these space, give them a cupboard in the kitchen, clean, you know, clean down a corner and put a little display out. Give yourself the, you know, the choice of putting all of your porridges out and letting your brain go, oh, which i fancy this morning yum yum work on some of these hacks with us you know uh, we've, yeah. we've got you every different you know element of the plan and its side effects we've got you covered you know th this has been years in the making so that we can offer extra texture and extra flavor and different avenues to you know fiber is incredibly important most yeah. of us nobody has a high enough fiber diet these days um but it has all sorts of added benefits. It's colourless, it's tasteless. Chuck it in any one of your products. We never have to have that conversation alongside all of the other benefits. We're here to make this, you know, easy and comfortable. And we've got really crunchy protein crisps. So if you're out there looking for the extras, the protein, the how, you know, that 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 message has got through to you, then come and talk to us because you don't have to be on Soul Source. You no. could be using this as your lunch whether you're in a weight loss phase or not you know then it becomes that pro then it becomes competitive with the protein range doesn't it because if yeah. you're eating porridge then why not use this porridge and yeah. you know get the extra guidance in to the bargain because we are really good at keeping weight gone as well if you're looking at protein crisps but you don't really like them then ours are made by the by the absolute experts oh you know, and you get way more are often way more in our packet us. <laughs> but they're in mainstream supermarkets and you don't have to yeah. ask somebody and pass a medical waiver to buy them. Well, you don't have to do with us either. You just have to know that they're out there. You do for the meal replacements when you're living off it, but you don't for all the extras yeah. that go along with the plan. So if you're on step two and your partner would also like to eat a similar thing so that you're not over here eating diet food, then these are real food. These are pop the ping, chuck it in the microwave or put it in a pan on the hob meal. These are our step up meals. So these are the 200 calorie high protein, re relatively high protein, relatively low carb offering for step two. So you don't have to eat another chicken salad. You could do three meal replacements and one of these. And so could they. You know, they're just ready meals. But again, you're not going to find these in the mainstream supermarkets. So we we address all of those things and we've got you covered. We're just not 
standing outside the supermarket shouting about it we're coming to you you know from from this avenue yeah to kind of remind you that there is an there is a plan here for everybody that's why it's a plan we've got the plan exactly and I do have a lot of people who because they will continue to get that support and those weigh-ins and that accountability long term will kind of never give up their you know if it weren't this, it might be a Mars bar. And as somebody that lost their weight, what was it now, eight years ago, I, I would always have this. I have one of these in every bag that I own because, you know, somebody's always having a treat. Somebody's always meeting up for coffee that turns into coffee and cake. The kids are always having an ice cream in summer or a very hot chocolate in winter. You know, these things are, are, are often unavoidable socially. And this is just easy. Nobody's looking over my shoulder going, that one of them shakes. You yeah. know, it's just a chocolate it's, bar yeah, exactly. and I'm going to have this with my cup of coffee and it means that I can be here yeah. without that voice in my head saying, well, you've done it now. You've thrown yourself under the bus. You'll never lose the weight now. You'll never keep it off. Yeah, I will. It's all right. We we got you. We got you. Yeah. You can't, you can't prize those sort of caramel bites out of my mum's hands. Uh, <laughs> she'll be having them forevermore. Um, but also just to quickly say water flavourings, if you make these up into ice or these things like that, the kids can enjoy them. Anyone can use the water flavorings. The same as the pop squares. You same as the enjoy them. Up, family. That's a really good point. You know, you know, you can make up a batch of jelly and everyone can have a bit. It's fine for everyone to use. It's not not part of the meal replacement range. No, it's just this stuff that we're kind yeah. of, you know, a little bit a little bit gatekeepery over because I really I, I know other things are you know other other brands of sellotape are available I've never tried any of them but what I know is that 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 they they need to need to know how to use them it's not just the the how to get hold of them and then well it just says it there I just have two of them a day as part of a whole plan these can go from well it's fine and I kind of get it because you know you're not daft it's a meal replacement to supercharging it into a really effective weight loss program yeah and 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 that's the difference i think that, that that's the difference the consultant makes so coming here today explaining how those things work exactly and if you are interested in the products hacks how you can tweak those products to make trifles jelly mousses we have a playlist on here i will link it in the description box below so you can go and have a look hear a word you said after trifles. <laughs> just so try sorry. <laughs> I love a product hack me. Um, so do check that out if you want to see what kind of things you could be doing with your products, especially if you've been doing soul sauce or one of the high sets for a little bit of time, you want to mix it up, especially with Easter coming. We do have an Easter playlist on here as well. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a little bit of insight into the whole range. Um, we could talk for hours about it because we absolutely love it, as you can tell. Agar, um, Agar, Sainsbury's sell it, or they sell little sachets of vegetarian gelatin instead of the mixed meats because it's not vegetarian that's the only thing um and if you need help with working out measurements and things like that that's what we're here for as consultants we are here with all of that good information when you need it along the way so you don't have to get overwhelmed in the beginning all the instructions are on the back of the packet if you do nothing else but make it up as it is and enjoy it in the beginning you're winning you don't have to do all of the fun stuff at the edges but it's there for later on just to make sure you stay interested and you can keep on plan. Yeah. If you have any questions about any of the products, the plan, anything, put them in the Please comments ask below. Us, we can, yep. We know the answer. Yeah. We're, and we'll, <laughs> it is our we'll, specialist subject on yeah. Mastermind. <laughs> can you tell? Um, but we will be back next week. Please hit the notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you would like to jump on plan with either me or Nell, our contact information is in the description box. So do get in touch. Thank you for joining us this week and we will see you again next week. Take care. Bye.